we left off at page this page. So what I want to do is I want to just read, continue reading this and then we'll check our homework afterwards. Okay, so I would like Lam. Lam, can you read this page for me, please? Learning to read and write. Learning to read and write. One important job for teachers is to help children learn to write, read, read and write. Students learn to read and write in many, in many different languages. Languages, good boy. The languages children, language children use. La language children use at school it depends on where they live. Some children study their own language and another language too. Very good, lovely reading. Well done, Lam. So uh, students at school learn to read and write. Depending on where you live, it depends what languages you will learn. So for example, in Vietnam, in Everest School, we learn how to read and write in Vietnamese and in English. Have a look here. We have a look at this picture. This picture shows a teacher answering questions for his student at a school in Cuba. Okay, let's have a look over here for other lessons. Can you read for me, Hannah and Emma? Other lessons. Other lessons. Children learn many things at school. All around the world. They study math and science. They learn about their own country and other countries too. Many children around the world study art and music in school. They may also learn how to use a computer. Lovely reading girls, thank you. So here we're talking about other lessons we can have in school. So we can study English, languages, math, science. We can even learn geography and history. It even talks about how some students learn music in school. Have a look. These students in Great Britain practice playing music music at school. So this girl is playing the flute, this boy is playing an oboe, and this boy is playing an acoustic guitar. Click the raise your hand button if you learn how to play music. Good, lots of hands are going up. So yeah, we can have other lessons in school that are not English, math, or science. We can learn music as well. Good job. Okay, let's have a look. Can you read for me, please? Let's go for Ming Huang. School chores. School chores. Most students have chores to do at school. They have to keep the classroom neat and clean. They may even have to set up the classroom every day. In some places, neat and clean. Children some work. Children may. Surf in some places, one another. Good. So here, in some places, children work to keep the schoolyard neat and clean. Good job. Well done, Ming Huang. So chores are tasks. They are jobs that we have to do. Some of you may have chores at home, which may include cleaning up the dishes, keeping your bedroom tidy, sweeping the floor, maybe helping mom or dad wash a car or a motorbike. So some kids at school also have chores. Have a look at this photo. Let's read what the caption says. In this school in Japan, students help serve lunch. Now at Everest, do you help serve the lunch? Yes or no? No, never. No, no, no. No, we don't do that. But what are some chores that we do have in Everest? Uh, we need to learn and listen to the teacher and we need to know and the teacher will teach us about a lot of things about about on the world. All around the world. Good job, Kwang Hai. So it's one of your jobs to listen to the teacher. Good. But what about things that will help the school? So we don't help serve lunch, but what do we do? Tweechi? We need to keep the school tidy. Good girl. Well done. We need to keep the school tidy. At the end of every lesson, what will I ask you to do with your chairs? 
Uh, we need to clean the chairs. Very good. Well, not clean the chairs, but put them under the... Under the table. Good boy. Put them under the table. I will also ask you to clean up the classroom. If we've been cutting and sticking and gluing, I will ask you to walk around the room, pick up any rubbish and put it in the bin. So one of our chores is to keep the school neat and tidy, just like she said. Well done. Okay, who can read for me here after school? Can you read for me, please? Mm, ocean. After school. After school, some children go to school even after the school day. Play is, play is over. They may have. A tutor? A tutor to help them with the subject, the subject that are hard for harder, them. harder for them. Some? Some children have other lessons at the school. The they? They study. They cannot learn in school. They may learn about dance, music, or their own culture. Culture. Very good. Well done. So after school, some kids around the world, they have lessons after school. And we've already talked about this. Some of us have swimming lessons. Some of us have music lessons. Some of us have art lessons, basketball lessons. There are many different types of lessons that we can have after school. Some students even go to school after school. Maybe they will have a teacher to help them one-on-one -on -one catch up with the work that may maybe they're struggling with in school. Okay, here, I'll read this page for us. Special schools. Some children live at their schools. These schools are called boarding schools. The children go home for visits and on holidays. This girl cannot see. She goes to a school where she can learn to read and write in a special way. People who are blind read with their fingers. They use a system of raised dots called Braille. So here we're talking about special schools. So who, click the raise your hand button if you have heard of a boarding school. Schools, Leo. What is, what is? So it's a school where children go and they live. So they live in their boarding school, yeah? So boarding school is when children go maybe to a different country and they go to the school and they live there. So they eat, sleep, and spend their whole day there apart from maybe if they get to go out at the weekend. Hands up if you would like to go to a boarding school. Would you like to live with your friends and live at school? No hands are going up. Okay, very interesting. Okay, why would you not like to go to boarding school, Le Kang? Hmm? Why would you not like to go to boarding school? Because I don't want to live there. I want to live with my mom and my dad. <laughs> Good girl. So some people don't want to leave their family. You would miss your family <clears throat> an awful lot if you went to boarding school. But some parents think it's a really good idea to send their um, children to a boarding school to get the best education for them. Some children even go abroad. So for example, in England, where I come from, many of the boarding schools had children from all over the world. They had children from China, children from Vietnam, children from India, children from everywhere. And I think the parents thought it would be a great idea to get them introduced into the English way of life. Okay, next over, let's have a look at this. Homeschooling. <clears throat> A home can also be a school. Some parents teach their children at home. They want to decide exactly what their children will learn. People at schools will often help parents plan home lessons for their children. Many children who study at home go to a school for gym or art classes. Have a look at this picture. Let's read the caption to understand it more. This mother is teaching her daughter at home. How do we feel about homeschooling? Click the raise your hand button if you would like to be homeschooled. 
That means you would never go to school, but just your mom or your dad would teach you. Okay, Micah, why would you like to do that? Because at home I can stay with my, my teddies and mom and dad. Very good. At home you get to stay with your teddies and your mom and dad. Good girl, Micah. Asi, why would you like to be homeschooled? Because I don't need to go to, to school. Very good, because then you wouldn't have to go to school. It means you could get up a bit later because you don't have to travel all the way to school. Okay, one more. Ming Huang, why would you like to be homeschooled? Oops. You can play. You can play? Yes, you can play, but we play in school too. We play in school also, but yes, yes, maybe you would play more at home. Good job, Ming Huang. Okay, let's move on. Okay, who can read this for me? Can you read for me, please? Um, Kang. School and work. Some children work as performers. Good. They spend part of their day practicing to sing the work that they do. They spend the rest of the day studying regular, regular, regular school subjects. Lovely, well done. So they spend the rest of the day studying regular school subjects. So some students are performers, they are dancers, they are singers, and that means that they spend most of their day practicing dancing or singing or acting. And then the rest of the day, they study normal subjects like English, math, and science work. Okay, have a look over at this page. Amazing school facts. One of the subjects that was taught in ancient Greece was gymnastics. Lam, please stop requesting control of my screen. The ancient Greeks thought gymnastics was just as important to learn as math or reading. So here is gymnastics. Gymnastics is a type of sport where people bend their bodies in different ways. They can jump and do cartwheels and swing on rings. <clears throat> It's a very important sport in um, ancient Greek. So they thought that this was just as important to learn as math or reading. Click the raise your hand button if you have ever done gymnastics like this. So Micah, you learned gymnastics in school? Yes. Good girl. And do you enjoy doing gymnastics? I feel a little bit hurt, but I still enjoy it very much. That's good. It can be very strenuous because you bend your body in all types of directions. Good girl, Micah. Okay, who can read this page for me? Can you read for me, please? Let's go for... Um, Mingha. How does the rich? Many people go to school evening after they are adults. Many they may go to College. College. Or they may. They may go to trade school to learn how to do a certain, certain job. Adult or also take classes for fun. They study different languages. Languages. And learn how to do things, no matter how old students are. They, they go to school to learn. Lovely reading. Thank you. Good girl. So this page is all about older students. So school isn't just for children like you guys. School can be for adults too. In fact, after you finish high school, maybe some of you would like to go to college, which in America they call college, but here in England and in Vietnam, we call it university. So university is a school that you would go to after high school if you know that you want to study something, like maybe you want to be a doctor, maybe you want to be a paramedic, maybe you want to be a teacher. You would go to university to further study that. So adults also go to school. Sometimes they'll go to school to take classes for fun. Maybe they will learn dancing or languages, but adults can go to school too. 
have a look over here. There's a picture and maybe we're not sure what's happening. So we can go ahead and read the caption to find out more details. These women in India go to school at night. Why do you think that some adults have to go to school at night time? Quang Hai. I know why, because we, the adults, is bigger than the children, and they need to for the children go first in the morning and in the... Good job. Um, Perfect, perfect answer. So maybe adults who have children, they have to go at night time because during the day they have to be around for their children to take them to school, bring them home, make them dinner. And then maybe when the other adult is home, they can go to their night school. Good job, Quang Hai. Amazing. So well done, guys. Let's have a look at our homework now. So homework was all about the reading comprehension and we had to answer 10 questions based on it. So let's go through that together. What is the article schools around the world mostly about? Is it about how children get to school, what children wear to school, or how schools are alike and different? Tweechee. Schools are alike and different. Good girl. Well done. It's mostly about how schools are alike and different. It talks about all the different schools around the world and compares them. It tells us how they are similar and how they are different. Good girl, Twee Why does the author use headings in this article? So here is a heading. Older students is the heading for this page. So why is this heading here? What does it help us do? Have a look. To tell the each section is about Clever girl. Well done. So the headings tell what each section is about. So the last section we read was called Older Students. So that helps the reader know what each section is going to be about. Good job. Number three, why does each photo have a caption? To explain is each picture. Good and job. To explain what is in each picture. Perfect. So many a times we've seen the photos in the article and underneath they each have a sentence. This is called a caption and it tells us what we are looking at in the picture. Okay, number four. What is one way that all schools are alike? Are they all places where children can live? Are they all small buildings made of bricks? Or are they all places where students go to learn? Hannah and Emma. Are they all made? They are all place where students go to learn. Very good. Well done. Schools are all alike because they are all places where we go to learn. Number five, what are the amazing school facts boxes for? So this one was a bit confusing, but who thinks they know the answer? Teddy, what do you think? The amazing school fact boxes for to start of school. To give extra details about schools. Good girl. Well done. So the amazing school facts boxes just give us extra information as we read. Good girl. Number six. Why do some teachers teach lessons over the radio or by computer? Is it because some students cannot travel to school? their community cannot afford to build a school, or radio and computer lessons help students pay attention. What is the answer here? Leo. Yeah. Some students cannot travel to the school. Very good. It's because some students cannot travel to the school. So we find out this information under the heading, getting to school. So some kids live too far away and cannot get there, so they're lucky enough to have their lessons online. Okay, look at this. What is the school chores section for? To compare chores at school to chores at home? To get readers to do chores at their own school? Or is it to tell about the jobs children do at some school? What do you think, Sal? To tell about jobs children do at school. Very good. To tell about the jobs children do at some schools. Perfect. And number eight, which sentence from the article shows that some parents teach their children at home? A home can also be a school. Some children live at their schools. Or some children have other lessons at school. A home can also be a school. Good girl. A home can also be a school. Now for the next two, le uh, next two questions, we had to read an American school and compare it to schools around the world. Number nine. 
what activity do you see students do in both articles? So we learn about an American girl's school um, and what does she say that they do every day in her school? Do they do chores? Do they ride a bike? Or do they say a pledge to the flag? What do they both mention in each article? Tweechi? They do school chores. So not school chores. So the one girl that mentions that in schools around the world, but in an American school, the little girl doesn't say anything about doing school chores, but she does say that every morning before class, they say a pledge to the flag. So the answer is say a pledge to the flag. In both articles, both activities are mentioned, talking about American schools. Okay, number 10. How are the articles different? An American school is about one girl school. Schools around the world is about pen pals who meet. Or an American school is about schools around the world. What do we think? Schools around the world is about schools around the world. But an American school is actually just about one girl school so that's how they're different schools around the world is about many different things it's about um many different schools all over the world and how they um how they operate and an american school is just about one girl's school in america okay guys well done to those of you who completed your homework let's get started with our lesson so today we're learning about the main idea have a look at this. Who can read this page for me? Mickey, can you read this page for me? Main idea and details. Main idea and details. The topic of an information test. In informational. Informational text is what the selection, selection is about. The main idea is most important idea about about the topic detail tell more about the main idea. You can show a main idea and and a shot like this list the details that make the main idea clear. clearer lovely reading mickey thank you so we're learning about the main idea and details today guys the main idea is the most important idea of the topic it's what the reader is trying to tell you details give more information and tell more about this main idea so we're going to have a look at using a graphic organizer today have a look here so the main idea is what the paragraph section or selection is mostly about and the supporting details give us information about the main idea so let's have a look um, okay so we're going to go for it here have a look so have a look at this page guys we've already read this but I'll just read it one more time just to remind you older students many people go to school even after they are adults they may go to college or they may go to a trade school to learn how to do a certain job. Adults also take classes for fun. They study different languages and learn how to do things. No matter how old students are, they go to school to learn. Now let's have a look at this um, graphic organizer. What do you think the main idea of this page is? Okay, Twitchy? Don't go into school. Very good. Well done. This page is mostly about adults going to school. So we can add that into our main idea. Many adults go to school. That's the main idea of this page. Now, what are some details that tell us more information about adults going to school? Hannah and Emma. It says... Mm. They may go to college. Good job. Or they may go to trade school to learn how to use care, how to do a certain job. 
Very good. Good work, girls. It tells us about where they might go. So some adults might go to college or go to a trade school. So that's similar to university. So let's go ahead and have a look. So the main idea is that many adults go to school. A supporting detail is that they may go to college or trade school. Amazing. So this is an extra detail that tells us information about where the adults might go to school. Great. Is there any other detail that we can see in here that gives us more information about adults going to school? Adults go to schools because some sometimes adults don't know something. So Very they go to school to study it and know it. And, and when they grow up, when somebody asks them it, they know. Good girl. Long well, life, it's called long life learning. Very good. Well done, Micah. Yes, another detail we could add in is that they study different languages and learn how to do new things. Perfect. That could be another detail. But also, there's another detail in here. What about this? What does this sentence say? Can you read this sentence for me, Cindy? Yes. Perfect. Can you read this sentence for me? Adults? Uh, adults also take classes for fun. Good girl. Well done. Adults also take classes for fun. This is another detail. Good job. Well done, Chi. Well done for writing in the chat box. Adults also take classes for fun. This is another detail that tells us more information about adults going to school. So our main idea is that many adults go to school. One detail that supports this main idea is that they may go to college or trade school. And another detail is that they may take classes for fun. Okay, so here we have broken it down and found out the main idea and given two details that help us. Now, okay guys, this is the last thing we're going to do and then I'll give you your homework. Have a look guys. Can you read this for me please? Quang Hai, James and his sister. Jane and his sister. Anna went to the cover on Saturday. They rode a merry-go-round. The go road round. Go round the roller coaster and the various wheel. James ate popcorns and a hot dog. Anna drank lemonade and ate an apple. They saw many exciting shows. They were tired when they went home. Lovely. So this is all about Saturday at the carnival. So it tells us all about what James and his sister Anna were doing. So what do we think the main idea is here? Have a look. What is the main idea? Circle the correct answer. James and Anna were hungry. James and Anna did many things at the carnival. The merry-go-round was broken. Or the carnival was on Saturday. What is the main idea of this paragraph? Good. Many things at the carnival. Good girl. Well done. James and Anna did many things at the carnival. This is the main idea. This is what the topic is mostly about. It tells us all the different things that they did. Okay, guys, let's choose three details in the story to show we know which details support the main idea. What are some details in this story that help you know they did many things? Let's have a look at the first one together. James and Anna rode the roller coaster. So here it says they rode the merry-go-round, the roller coaster, and the Ferris wheel. So here is three things that they did, but we can only pick one of them if we want. James and Anna rode the roller coaster. What else did they do? What other supporting details help you understand that James and Anna did many things? Leo, can you tell me one thing they did at the carnival? They eat popcorn and hot dog. Good job. They ate popcorn and a hot dog. Well, that's what James ate. Well done. What did Anna eat and drink? What did Anna eat and drink? Lum. Anna drank lemonade and ate an apple. Good job. So Anna ate um, an apple and she drank lemonade. So we could add this in. So James ate a hot dog. You could write that Anna drank lemonade. And what else did they do? So they rode the roller coasters. They ate some food from the carnival. What else did they do? So they rode on the merry-go-round. They went on the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel. 
Then James and Anna drank um, lemonade and ate popcorn and hot dogs and apples. Then what was the last thing that they did? They saw many exercise shows. Exciting? Exciting show. Good girl. Well done, Le Kang. They saw exciting shows. Well done. So these are three details that support the fact that the main idea is James and Anna did many things at the carnival. Okay, guys, this is your homework. Have a look. For homework, you will read all about the storm. Then you will circle the main idea or you will type the main idea. Then you must give me three details from the story and write them down. One, two, three. You find three sentences that give details about the main idea. This will all be typed up on Google Form for you, so you will not have to print it, okay? I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye to you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you take care. Have a great day.